Hey guys, what's up everyone and welcome back to Tips with Mona. My name is Mona Abu Fayyad. I'm an architect and a designer. On this platform, I explain some architectural and designing content. If you want to stick around, hit the subscribe button and now let's get into our video. In this video, I'm going to be using ChatGPT to give it some questions about creating an architectural poster on Photoshop. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna give it a prompt saying what I have. Let's say that I have a project of a villa. I have a certain content and I wanna ask ChatGPT, please tell me how to arrange it in a very great way to give me the best result. And I'm gonna follow exactly what ChatGPT tells me. Now, Let's explain it better by screen recording. So the first thing I wanna do is that I wanna find a house to make it as my project. You can use your own project, of course. So I'm going to Arch Daily and I found this house. It has all the information that we can put in a poster. So I'm gonna be using that. I will be saving off camera a 3D shot, plans, sections, elevations, so we can put into our architectural poster. So now I have the information that I need here in this folder saved and I'll be using these images to create a poster. But first we're gonna go to ChatGPT and we're gonna enter a prompt to ask ChatGPT what uh, it recommends to start a poster with and so on. Let me type the prompt and I'll read it for you. I wrote to ChatGPT, I'm creating an architectural poster in Photoshop for my project. Give me a step-by-step -step tips to arrange my poster, knowing that I need to add the title information, 3D shot, elevations, sections, plans. Also, tell me the arrangement exactly of this info. I want to go ahead and add here the concept as well. You can also add the <coughs> diagrams and whatever information that you have, you can type it here. And now let's see what ChatGPT is going to give us. Okay, now let's read. It gave me first, define a grid. Okay, so we're gonna start with a grid first. Okay, set the canvas size. Okay, and then background, title, okay, information. Uh-huh, the concept is next. Okay, 3D shot, elevation, section, plans, then visual hierarchy, consistency, white space. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and ask if there is any way that ChatGPT has in mind to uh, give me the exact location of each information. Now I'm gonna write to ChatGPT knowing that I will be using an A1 poster. Which orientation do you prefer? Landscape or portrait? Also, I want you to give me the exact location of each category I mentioned, which one goes to the left and which one goes to the right, and where do I put my 3D shots. Also give me color recommendations for the poster background and fonts. Let's go ahead and check what is it gonna recommend to us. Okay guys, so give me some recommendations and I'm gonna stick exactly to these recommendations. So it's telling me for an A1 poster, the orientation landscape or project can depend on the layout of your architectural project. However, landscape orientation is often preferred. Okay, so we're gonna use landscape. For the title, place the title at the top center of the poster. I'm gonna do that. And then information position, project information, just below the title, spanning the width of the poster. Center align the text for a clean look. Okay, concept, I'll get the section beneath the information area of the project concept. Use the space for description, sketches, diagrams. Okay, 3D shots feature the 3D shot in the center of the poster. Elevations, organize elevation views, the left side of the poster, align them vertically with labels, positions near each elevation. Sections, place sections, views to the right side of the poster. Now display floor plans beneath the elevation on the left side. And then color recommendation. Background, choose neutral background color to enhance readability and make your visuals stand out. Light gray or white backgrounds are commonly used for architectural posters. Okay, font, use clean and legit fill. Font for titles and headings. Okay, so I'm gonna use exactly what ChatGPT recommended to me. So let's start. First thing first, I'm gonna use uh, an A1 poster. I'm gonna make it 
uh, as a landscape i'm gonna keep the resolution 150 and i'm gonna hit create this is our poster space and now i'm gonna go ahead and open chat gpt to read what's the first step first step it gave us the background let's start from the background here so it's saying light gray or white background okay i'll use light gray i think this color is fine i'll go to my paint pocket tool and i'll hit new layer and i'm gonna give it this color maybe a little bit lighter yeah that's nice okay i'm gonna lock this layer so i don't want it to keep moving second step is for the title place the title at the top center okay let's go and place our title in the center first i'm gonna go to the website to copy the title of course you will use your own project title but for me it will be this title I'm just using this project as a reference so i'm gonna go ahead and place the text at the center of my poster i'm gonna use maybe black oh my god let's see which font uh, ChatGPT recommended for the fonts, use clean, legible font for titles and headings. Sans serif fonts like Arial or... Okay, let's see if that's a good one. Oh, maybe I don't have it. Okay, so I don't have this font. So, so I'm gonna use Arial. Bold, that's it. Okay, I don't usually use Arial for posters, especially for titles. But I'm gonna stick to what ChatGPT recommends. For me next step is the information position project information just below the title spanning the width of the poster center align the text for a clean look okay let's go and copy the information okay I'm gonna use this info mm -hmm. so I'm gonna copy them uh, for sure you're gonna put your own information okay of course you're gonna use a smaller size it will be maybe 60 and you need to fix the text obviously so i'm gonna go ahead and fix it real quick chat gpt says that for body text consider using times new roman okay let's use it times okay i'm just gonna fix the orientation of the text okay and then i'm gonna fix the body Alrighty guys, so now I reduced the text a little bit, I removed some unnecessary information and I tried to put all the key information in one line and the design team on the second line. So I also reduced the uh, text size and uh, the alignment is to the center as suggested by ChatGPT and I used the same font that they recommended which is Times New Roman. I'll hit OK now. And then I'll go to the next information, which is the concept, I believe. Okay, so the concept should be allocated beneath the information area for the project concept. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the website to see if they have a concept. Okay, so we're gonna copy this text right here. Seems like it's a concept. We're gonna be using the same text. So I just duplicated the layer, but I'm gonna give it a title so I'm gonna be placing that here but I'm gonna hit enter right here at the very beginning and write concept okay and because it's a title I'm gonna be using Arial because that's what suggested by ChatGPT okay but I'm gonna be increasing the font size but not as much as the main title so it's gonna be like 65 for example i think that's pretty good I'll, actually i want to align it to the left just don't like it don't like it in the center and i'll hit okay also i think i'll reduce the text size to maybe 45 yeah that's better
I'm gonna keep it like this for now, but I know that I'm gonna go back to it uh, at the end to fix it. But for now, I'll keep it like this and I'll move to the next point. Feature the 3D shot. In the center of the poster, this serves as a focal point. Consider placing it slightly below the information and concept section to maintain a clean hierarchy. All right, so I'll go to my folder. I'll check the 3D shots that I have. So we have these three. Of course, we have more on the website, but I've chosen these three. So I'm thinking about like merging this uh, the concept with the 3D, not merging, actually merging, no, just like dedicating this row to, to these two. So I'm going to align them later, just let me drag them. Okay, I'm trying my best to follow ChatGPT. So I went ahead and I downloaded two more images for this house. And now I'm gonna go ahead to the chat GPT to see the next point, which is elevations. Organize elevation views on the left side of the poster. Align them vertically with labels positioned near each elevation. I think I'm gonna just put one elevation because that's what we've got here. And it's gonna be this one so i'm gonna drag it and put it right here they said on the left side okay i'm gonna increase it of course if you have the scale then you will not play with it but obviously here it's not to scale i i went ahead and i duplicated the layer of the elevation after choosing multiply because i want it to look a little bit more darker now i'm gonna go ahead and put a title for the elevation so i duplicated the text and now i'm gonna write elevation i'm gonna align it to the left as well and i'll go to ChatGPT to see the next point which is which is sections this section view on the right side of the poster Aligning them vertically, ensure to label. Okay, let's see. So I'm gonna duplicate this layer, which is the um, elevations text. And I'm gonna write sections or section. I don't know how many sections we've got. Let me check. Okay, so we've got two sections that we're gonna be using. Try my best to make them look like they are consistent and the same. Okay. okay, now I'm gonna apply a layer style, so it's gonna be multiply. I'm gonna zoom in, mm -hmm. I'm gonna try to position them in a good way. Actually, this is not my style of designing a poster. It looks so normal to me. I like um, different styles, but I'm doing what ChatGPT asks me to. Okay, next I'm gonna be placing the plans, I believe. So I'll go to ChatGPT, plans, display floor plans beneath the elevator on the left side. Okay, that's the last step. Let's do it. So we've got this uh, plan. Place it right here. So right here. I'll use multiply. And then I'm gonna duplicate the text and put it right here to adjust it and write plan. I'll just plan. This is what ChatGPT recommended me to follow to create this poster. But I'm gonna give it a twist right now and change few things okay for example why are we placing the sections this way and then the plans right here and then we have a, a void here so i don't like that so for me i think just play around and fix this poster in a way that feels better and reads better so i'll do it real quick and then i'll explain so because i didn't like the arrangement that ChatGPT recommended to me i'm gonna make few adjustments so i started with the sections i placed it down and i placed the elevation right above it and then for the plan it's on the right and then the next step is uh, i want to create a white background under the plan so i used my lasso tool and i filled the selection with white color 
and uh, I added some inner shadow to create a depth and then I did the same for the elevation I used my lasso tool to create a white background behind the actual drawing and I went ahead and selected the section as well to create the same and then I also added some inner shadow and then I used a tree brush to create some uh, presentation to this elevation and to give it a life and then I duplicated the plan and I used multiply of course and then here I'm trying to do something with the renders because I felt that it's too formal for a poster so I used my lasso tool to create some random cuts to make it feel like a continuous board and then I used the clouds brush to create some effect behind these renders I also used these clouds behind my sections and then I adjusted the text a little bit and then I used a gray color for the titles I didn't really like the black it was so formal and so serious so this is our poster after enhancing the poster of course I tried to add my own touches to the poster uh, I know that ChatGPT gave us very easy tips to create a poster especially if you're not familiar uh, with creating posters but it's really nice to add your own touch to the poster to give it your own identity after that you can go ahead and save it And this was the end of our video for today. I hope you enjoyed it and please try to recreate this video so you can get the maximum benefit of this content. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment on this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.